Now I did, um, as I was saying, I did receive this email. And this email is uh, very eye-opening. It is full of uh, quite a bit of information. And a lot of stuff, it makes you think. So I'm going to get started on this email. If you have comments or something, make sure you put them all in capital letters and make sure that you all are really paying attention at this point in time. So the email, I cut out the first part of it because that was just kind of directed to me. And I'm starting this email right here. It says, I am very concerned about the information that I have received through, well, let's just say a little birdie high in the tree, read between the lines, quote unquote, and what the birdie has told me. <clears throat> this person took great care into not even saying if it was a he, she, or anything else. So I have no idea. Um, so you just have to kind of read between the lines. Uh, I hope that you will share this information with your community on survival preparedness for beginners, which I am doing right now. I really do not know where to start with this information. So here we go. Keep in mind that there are several different conflicts taking place all around the world in some way, shape, or form. Russia, Ukraine, China, Taiwan, North Korea, South Korea, Israel, and Turkey. The list goes on and on. The United States is going to be right in the middle of all the different conflicts throughout the world. Can the United States actually hold its own in all these different conflicts if for some reason they all started around the same time that could be very interesting right folks we would call that world war three we all know about the war between russia and ukraine that is a give me nowadays it's on the news every day but this all could be the main front for the much bigger picture that is to come the bigger distraction you could say. Now let's talk about the bigger picture and this is where things get interesting for you and your community members that are watching your video right now. So you all need to pay attention. The big picture really isn't Russia and Ukraine. It's not what is taking place in the countries around them. This is nothing more than a larger than life front. The big picture that people are really missing is taking place in China and North Korea. Here we go. North Korea has over the last few years doubled or tripled the amount of nuclear warheads that they do have. Where did they get the money from? Where did they get the materials from? Where do you think they Where do you think they got everything from. My sources tell me that Russia, China, and Iran have been secretly funneling in a lot of the materials and the money and everything else was sent in under the darkness of night, under the radar. Nobody even knew it was probably taking place until it was too late. They already succeeded in building and firing off and testing their nuclear weapons that basically appeared overnight. It is also rumored that between North Korea and China in the northern province there are tunnels that run under the ground and have been not seen I mean <clears throat> hold on I missed it I'm sorry sorry folks <laughs> it has also been rumored that between North Korea and China in the northern province that there are tunnels that run under the ground I have not seen these tunnels but I have heard there are rumors about these tunnels and how that would make sense on how things are being moved in and out of North Korea and into China. Which really makes a lot of sense if you really think about it, folks. A lot of people, you know, are saying, well, you know, they can see everything and everything else. But, I mean, if they have these tunnels, um, <clears throat> you may not be able to see what's coming in or going out, you know. Now I would like... Er, now I would like everybody to ask themselves one question. What better way to invoke a war than to do it right under your nose when you're looking at 
the European side with Russia and Ukraine thinking that something's going to take place there when in all reality it is happening on the Asian side and North Korea will probably be the scapegoat for China and Russia. Maybe some of your members of Survival Preparedness for Beginners have seen videos or news articles on the major game rolling that is taking place right now off South Korea and how North Korea has threatened to use their nuclear arms it just keeps going and takes place because this is the, la the largest practice war games that the two countries have ever done together and it would be just like North Korea to assume they're being attacked to launch one of their nuclear missiles. To give your followers something to think about this North Korea has nothing to lose in this whole game. They are the most sanctioned against them than any other country in the world. Without Russia and China, they would be nothing. So if they were to provoke some type of a nuclear or non-nuclear war, even if I say another country responded, China and Russia would then assume that they are being attacked. So you see, the whole European conflict is a front. The ones that we need to be watching is North Korea, and that is where the United States is really paying close attention behind closed doors. China, as we all know, wants to take over Taiwan. They want it back just like the situation that Russia is in. They want Ukraine back. The only way that they can succeed in doing this is to start chinchilling away at the American military before war actually does come to the country of the United States of America there will be a large amount of different types of war strategies to take place in the country starting off with pay attention folks with cyber attacks which will be on the increase targeting such things as your power grid your stock market your infrastructure that moves goods and your ability to communicate with the people of the United States you see once they have taken these types of great strides if they succeed this would be a very sad day for the American people I would urge everyone out there that is listening to this video and to what I have had to say about what I was told by that little birdie high in the tree. That little birdie also told me that the time to prepare is now. You have to make sure you are preparing yourself and your family for a long drawn out conflict between the United States, Russia, China and North Korea. Your preparation is key to the survival of you and your family. You have to be making these preparations at this time. There is no time to waste. You have to make sure that you are out there and that you are trying to obtain as much products, gear, food, water, seeds, and first aid that you can safely store and protect. In the end, this might just be the one saving grace that you will have for you and your family to be prepared. Because the little birdie told me that time is now. If you wait, it may be too late. So please take this and try and do what you can for you and your family. Because the little birdie I know knows what is about to take place.